Let's write the structural formula for 3-methyl-2-pentanol. Sometimes you'll see this as 3-methyl-2-pentan-1-ol. Either way, they both give you the same structure. So first off, we notice we have OL. When you see OL, you're thinking you have an alcohol. So there'd be a carbon single bonded to an OH group. That's an alcohol. Pent, pent means five. So we're gonna have a chain of five carbons. One of the carbons is gonna be bonded to this OH group here. It's gonna be the second carbon. Then on the third carbon, we'll have a methyl group. So let's put five carbons up and number them in a chain. So we said on the second carbon, carbon number two right here, we're gonna have that alcohol, that OH group. Let's put that on there. So right now we have two pentanol, but we have three methyl. So on the third carbon, we need to put a methyl group. That looks like this. So the methyl group, that's CH3, a carbon with three hydrogens. So we're gonna put that on the third carbon in three methyl to pentanol. So we could put it up here or we could put it down here. These bonds, they can rotate, so it really doesn't matter. Let's replace this hydrogen with a methyl group. And that gives us the structural formula for 3-methyl-2-pentanol. So to recap, we know that we have an alcohol and we know we have a chain of five carbons and that alcohol, that OH, goes on the second carbon. On the third carbon, we stick the methyl group, that's CH3. This is Dr. B with the structural formula for 3-methyl-2-pentanol. Thanks for watching.